The Thunder, Perfect Mind, is a poem which was discovered among the Gnostic manuscripts in the Nag Hammadi Library in 1945. This poem takes the form of an extended and riddling monologue in which an imminent divine savior speaks a series of paradoxical statements alternating between first person assertions of identity and direct address to the audience. These paradoxical utterances echo Greek identity riddles, a common poetic form in the Mediterranean. Moreover, it is a non-epistolic, non-narrative, unmediated divine speech. The Thunder, Perfect Mind, translated by George W. McRae. I was sent forth from the power, and I have come to those who reflect upon me, and I have been found among those who seek after me. Look upon me, you who reflect upon me, and you hearers hear me. You are waiting for me. Take me to yourselves, and do not banish me from your sight. And do not make your voice hate me, nor your hearing. Do not be ignorant of me anywhere or any time. Be on your guard. Do not be ignorant of me. For I am the first and the last. I am the honored one and the scorned one. I am the whore and the holy one. I am the wife and the virgin. I am the mother and the daughter. I am the members of my mother. I am the barren one, and many are her sons. I am she whose wedding is great, and I have not taken a husband. I am the midwife, and she who does not bear. I am the solace of my labor pains. I am the bride and the bridegroom. It is my husband who begot me. I am the father of my mother and the sister of my husband, and he is my offspring. I am the slave of him who prepared me. I am the ruler of my offspring but he is the one who begot me before the time on a birthday, and he is my offspring in due time, and my power is from him. I am the staff of his power in his youth, and he is the rod of my old age, and whatever he wills happens to me. I am the silence that is incomprehensible, and the idea whose remembrance is frequent. I am the voice whose sound is manifold, and the word whose appearance is multiple, I am the utterance of my name. Why, you who hate me, do you love me and hate those who love me? You who deny me confess me, and you who confess me deny me. You who tell the truth about me lie about me, and you who have lied about me tell the truth about me. You who know me be ignorant of me, and those who have not known me let them know me. For I am knowledge and ignorance. I am shame and boldness. I am shameless and I am ashamed. I am strength and I am fear. I am war and peace. Give heed to me. I am the one who is disgraced and the great one. Give heed to my poverty and my wealth. Do not be arrogant of me when I am cast out upon the earth and you will find me in those that are to come. Do not look upon me on the dung heap 